Good news, everyone. We're actually doomed. Surprising, absolutely no one, people with poor ability to self-reflect, also feel more strongly about politics, and unfortunately, make decisions on an emotional level more quickly and more intensely. What I'm telling you is the physical embodiment of this meme, and unfortunately, it is structural. Did seeing this kind of piss you off? I've got bad news for you. What this research group did was try to find the structural link between emotional decision-making when it comes to politics. They established a framework for the degree to which people believed certain topics and then popped them in an fMRI and asked them to look at various things like protests. Patients would then be asked to pick one of these two protests, the one that they support more or less, and see how quickly they did while their brain was being scanned. What they found is pretty bad for all of us. People who have the least self-awareness, the least ability to understand why they are making the decisions that they are making or be able to self-reflect. So if they choose something that is the wrong answer, they're unlikely to go back and look at themselves and figure out if they were wrong, let alone why. People who are low in self-awareness picked images faster, but their brain also routed information through parts of the brain that process emotions and they were stronger. That means that people are more likely to blindly follow topics or leaders without ever considering that what they're doing is wrong. That group of people is also more likely to justify actions against their chosen political opponents who might have a belief that's different than them that would be highly immoral. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm muzzled by community guidelines. Now, I know that we can rewire our brains. I've done it myself when I decided I was ready to learn math and sat down with math questions every night for hours a night until it made sense. And that led to long lasting changes in my ability to parse out logical problems of a mathematic nature. You can rewire your brain for anything so long as you're willing to do the work. But if you are unable to identify that what you're doing is a problem, you'll never get there. And I try to tell people this all the time. You may also note that I never picked a political side. I'm telling you a phenomenon. People tend to get kind of pissy whenever I touch on these topics. Now measuring self-awareness, you would be correct, is a difficult topic to wrap one's mind around and study. We can find it in the pieces of the way people think, like asking them math questions that tend to confuse and require someone to look past the initial answer. Here's the classic one. If you're buying a bat and a ball, and the two of them together cost $1.10, and the bat is $1 more than the ball, how much did the ball cost? This is a very simple linear equation. There's an obvious answer, and there's one that requires you to think reflectively. Interestingly, people who can't answer that are more likely to believe in conspiracies. I've covered that topic before. I can dig up that paper if you're interested. But what I find worst, what I find to be the most dangerous thing of all of this, are people who believe they're on the side of righteousness. Doesn't matter what side you're on, but if you think that whatever you do is justified and right and good, that makes you capable of very terrible things. I would really suggest you look inside yourself and not try to see yourself as good. Make friends with your demons, invite them to sit with you and watch a horror movie and drink hot cocoa. That's what I do anyway.